Hi, I'm So In from Antio. Have you heard of Mogosites? Mogosites are the major traded peanut saponin found in the Mang fruit, also known as Luhan Guo, and it is responsible for the sweet taste. Different Mogosites carry different number of sugar molecules, resulting in different levels of sweetness, and some Mogosites are suitable to be used as natural sweetener. Simonocyte 1 is one of the sweetest Mogosites, and it is 563 times sweeter than sucrose. This intense natural sweetener has definitely more economic value than the others. But the amount of Simonocyte 1 in Luhan Guo is little. So how can we obtain Simonocyte 1 in large amount and use it in the food industry? Previously, we have found that the beta glucoside is called EXG1 in the carabusanensis can specifically hydrolyze the glycosidic bond of the major compound named mogosite 5 and bioconvert into cyanocyte 1. But the problem is the growth of this decarbucin lenses is very slow. So we try using a different yeast called Chromasis marcianus, which have rapid growth and high protein secretory capacity as a host in apply for mogosite bioconversion. But the EXG1 in Chromasis marcianus will hydrolyze from mogosite 5 and bioconvert into mogosite 3E. Therefore, in this project, we use CRISPR to genome editing the KM EX1 sequence and integrate DB EX1 sequence into the KM genome. First, we send for sequencing to confirm successful editing, and with a base missing in the EX1 sequence after using CRISPR, it causes a frame shift mutation. We further analyze this genetic modified KM with Rohan Guo extract for mogosite bulk conversion using HPLC MSMS. The profile of genetic modified KM is very different from the normal KM. With PIG1, mogosite 5 remains the tallest. And this profile is similar with control group with no is inoculated. After DBEXG1 integrated into this genetic modified KM, we observed a significant peak. Pig 2 became taller, that is standard side 1. So, this concludes that our system is able to express protein that we desire. Further tests are still ongoing to evaluate the feasibility in using KM in protein expressing system. Hopefully, this system can help us in over expressing protein that we desire. That's all for my presentation. Thank you for attention.